There's a classic line to sum up Mike Tyson, the one-time heavyweight champion of the world. Coming from the Bible via Thomas Hardy's great novel, Tess of the D'Urbervilles, it's the line, how the mighty are fallen, because they don't come much mightier than the man they called Iron Mike, nor do they fall much further. Hitting was Mike's business. Throughout his astonishingly successful boxing career, the heavyweight contender was virtually unstoppable. From the mid-1980s to the early 90s, he held the WBC, WBA and IBF World Heavyweight crowns. He was the first boxer to do so, briefly uniting a divided sport as the undisputed champion of champions. His achievements were the stuff of record books. In his first two years as a professional, he won 19 of his 22 fights by a knockout, and 14 of those were in the first round. In November 1986, he became the youngest heavyweight champion in history, aged just 20 years and four months, when he took the World Boxing Council crown from Trevor Burbick. But scandal and crime soon overshadowed the self-described baddest man on the planet. In 1992, he served three years in an Indiana jail after being convicted of the rape of beauty queen Desiree Washington in an Indianapolis hotel. Back in the ring in June 1997, in one of the most controversial sporting events in recent times, he was disqualified at the end of the third round of his rematch with title holder Evander Holyfield for biting off a piece of the champion's ear. Two years later, he picked up another jail sentence this time for assaulting a couple of motorists. He served nine months. There was another assault charge in June 2003 after a brawl in a Brooklyn hotel. Despite earning huge amounts throughout his career, including 30 million US dollars for that Holyfield fight alone, Mike filed for bankruptcy in August 2003. It's believed bad advice and lavish spending had frittered away nearly 300 million US dollars. And in September 2007, Mike faced court yet again, pleading guilty to cocaine possession and driving under the influence. How the mighty have fallen indeed.